Hi everyone! For today's video, we're gonna be talking the legal abortion here in UAE. So everyone was shocked when this news has been released to public. And you know, we know that UAE is a Muslim country and they have uh, they are very family oriented and up until now we're experiencing the the culture we can feel the culture that family comes first but somehow um the government has initiated this legal abortion here in uae last june 8 2024 so it has a lot of um precautionary measures and controls has been uh, implemented on applying this request if the life of the mother is being threatened or um, the health of the mother is very concerned then you can request a legal abortion and it has to be done by the licensed physicians and licensed faculty or clinic or hospitals you cannot just do it anywhere or in your home or wherever you want you cannot do that it has to be performed by a certain individual that has license in doing so. In the previous years, there are so many unwanted pregnancy that are happening in here in UAE. So the only chance that you have is you have to go back to your home country without knowing or without informing anyone that you are pregnant. And the reason why they are making it public or legal to abort the baby because it has uh, terms and conditions and um if it is uh if it's life threatening to the mother then um you can pursue or you can apply your request and it has to be approved by ministry of health and on top of that you are entitled for the abortion if you pass all the requirements and if there are health um, issues that is accompanied with your request and if the baby is 120 days old if you're above 30 30 weeks then you are not allowed or you are not entitled for this kind of abortion even though if it's life-threatening but to be sure you are free to consult the ministry of health for confirmation so the committee should comp compromise three doctors one is ob obstetrics doctor second gynecology specialist third is psychiatry specialist and there should always be a representative from the public prosecutions when doing so of this kind of abortion abortion is allowed if it's putting the life of the mother in danger okay and or the woman's life in danger it is also allowed in the absence of any alternative way to save her life or it is abortion is allowed if the fetus deformation is severe proven and it will affect the newborn's health and life the case should be supported by a medical report issued by specialized specialized medical committee so you know by the help of the technologies it can be seen Right, it can be monitored if there are any defects on the fetus, the physical um, defect, but it's some, somewhat uh, unfair for the life that is in there. In my opinion, it's not their fault why they are, you know, they're like that. And But then again, it is the decision of the mother or the family where the babies belong. But somehow, um, it's um, unfair for me. It's unfair for me for the the life of the stillborn baby. So where can abortion be done? Abortion can be done in a licensed hospital facilities. Okay, it cannot be done just anywhere you want it. It cannot be done at home. It cannot be done in the desert. It cannot be done in a clinic where they are not licensed to do the abortion. So you have to be very very careful in doing so because it may uh, result in legal consequences what are the responsibilities of the healthcare facilities it is the responsibilities to monitor your patients pre and post operations and to check um to check if how is everything and followed by the psychiatry because of course it will really affect the life of the mother especially that you know it's not easy 
post care is required for all the facilities that will be doing this kind of abortion or uh, actions. Uh, it's a little bit, um, you know, intrigued. I am a little bit intrigued sa, sa mga nangyayari sa sitwasyon. Though it's good sa mga taong um, may health problem, maganda siya kasi it, it will also save their life and putting their life in danger. And maganda siya kasi um, yung mga ibang parent or the mother na hindi gusto na magkaroon ng defect or problema ang magkaroon ng baby na may problema, it's good for them, but um, my 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 takeaway is it's a little bit unfair. It's a baby na nasa nasa loob ng chan ng nanay na it's not it's not her his fault why defect is there, but somehow since due to the demand and you know the UAE is composed of different nationalities, different cultures from Asia Pacific, Middle East from. South Africa, uh, Europe, America. Um, we are living in a very diverse um, community, and every individual has their own perceptions, perspective in life. And somehow, I think uh, UAE is more onto you know um, catering everyone's need without uh, putting the life um, of the mother in danger, especially with with the, there are so many again. Abortion will not only be an abortion without any with, without any controls and terms. It can't be done by because you know you get preg you get pregnant by your boyfriend and you don't want the child. It won't like it. It doesn't work like that, and it the the court of course won't approve your request. It may put you in jail if this is the case, but somehow um, yung abortion nga, again I'm saying is may mga may mga underlying conditions you know. In other countries, abortions are allowed because they have this unwanted pregnant pregnancy, uh, their carelessness. No, abortion here in the UAE has many, many consequences and there's underlying conditions. So I hope that this video really helped you. And if you find it interesting and informative, just comment any, any questions down below and I will be happy to answer if I know the answers. And of course, uh, my wish and my prayer that nobody, not even single mother, were gonna face this kind of situation in their life where they have to abort their baby. Because I'm really sure that even though they don't want this situation in their life, and having your, having your baby aborted is not an easy thing. I don't know if you are able to sleep by killing someone's life. Even though it's your baby, it's your body, but you know, we don't have all the right because still, it's it's alive and god, god has uh given this or god has you know orchestrated everything but then again it's your decision it's your body so uh, it's up to you it's up to you it's your call it's your decision and i cannot influence your decision so again i hope nobody no woman no mother will be able to face this situation so that's all and thank you for watching